What's up guys, it's Leroy Jenkins here for another video, a late video, I mean an FDNY ambulance video. And of course, as you can see, before I put it on my uniform, I just want to show off the beautiful merch, the Jenkins Patrol merch that you can also get yourself at the link down below. Wear it and you have the possibility to get a shout out in one of these videos. But anywho. Let's go ahead and t put on the uniform so that we can get straight into this patrol. Let's see. Uh, let's just click on this. Uh, let's see. What is it? Black bunker gear. Bam. Modern helmet. Bam. Ranks. Uh, where is it? And then paramedic. Perfect. And there's like that. We are now ready to take on the world. What is going on here? Oh... Somebody's parked in front of the fire entrance. And he seems he's getting yelled at. Tell him to come out here. I ain't going in that pig pen. Jesus Christ. How is this cop calling other cops pigs? Oh boy. Well, you know what? That is none of my business. And hopefully somebody will deal with that. But until then, let's check the map for medical calls. And let's check jurisdiction. That is just out of our jurisdiction. However, what isn't out of our jurisdiction is this fire. So let's go ahead and just, you know, go to the fire. Just in case there's somebody lying on the ground that needs to be treated for medical and get evaluated. All right, well, here we go. I'm out. You guys can keep on arguing over there. Have fun. Oh, somebody just finished an EMS call. Nice. Which means another one will be on the way. But until then, I'll be going out to this fire. Where's the fire again? Perfect. Right over there. Oh, boy. Here we go. Mr. Kensington Fire from, what is it, Station 22? And look at that big, amazing, huge fire. They also seem to have removed in an update the ability for... Where should I park? I'm going to park it over here. Yeah, let's park it right here. This is perfect. Because there's no fire in front of here, so, you know, nothing's going to fall over. But... At the same time, it's easy access so that I can get in and out in case somebody uh, spawns um, as, you know, medically injured. So, I got all the access in the world. Nice. Let's uh, open up this. Let's open up the back doors as well. Bam, bam. But as I was saying, they seem to have made it in an update where I can't use fire hoses, which really sucks. And I don't know why I can't use fire hoses. Because, I mean, it just because it's an EMS unit doesn't mean I can't be on the fire team. Like, look at this. FDNY ambulance. I'm on the FDNY as well. I should be able to help them with the fire. I don't care about XP. I don't need, a, you know, the, the you help them or something, so on and so forth. All I want to do is just help them for the sake of helping. But I guess, let me see. Maybe they changed it. Nope. Because I'm clicking here and it won't let me. I click here and it won't let me pick out tools. So that's a big fat problem. So what, do I have to pick the Silverado as the thing? Who knows, let's see. Okay, is somebody gonna go here? I know this is just out of my jurisdiction, but you know what, why not? Why not just go? Why not just go? We gotta help and serve everybody, you know? Just cause you're a little bit out of jurisdiction doesn't mean I can't help you out. So let's just go to that call. We out. Have fun putting out that fire that I cannot help you with because of an update that I really didn't know happened. Or I don't know when it happened, but I know it did happen. Alright, let's go. A little bit in the oncoming traffic. Make that good old-fashioned right-hand turn here. And then make that good old-fashioned left. And then from here, we go straight forward. Right down the road. To Coral Beach, baby. Let's go. Woo! All right, should be on the right-hand side. We got to pass up this, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seriously? Oh, I guess there is somebody here. They just are taking forever. Well, this, my friends, is why you just stay in your jurisdiction and you don't push anything. You don't push any of the limits. You just stay in your jurisdiction and you respond to whatever is in your jurisdiction. That's all you got to do. Well, you know what? If it, you know, if this guy's going to take forever... Might as well just, you know, check out what he's doing. 
Oh, EMS call finished. I don't know why all these calls are finishing, but there's no new calls coming out. I think my dude is about to go. Well, if he's about to go, I'm... We'll be ready to pull to the right-hand side of the road because that is the legal thing to do that people don't seem to know how to do for EMS callers and EMS workers. It's their dream. Uh-oh. Why am I hearing a big engine? Okay, never mind. It's not him. Well, let's just head back to the fire. Back with the lights. Back with the me just sitting around. You know, because it's better to be safe than sorry. Actually, let's pull into this parking lot because you know what? This is actually safer than sorry. Wait, that wasn't on fire before, right? Do the, does the fires actually spread now and stuff? Because I could have sworn that was not on fire before. Because like I said, I parked down there and there was no fire up there. Interesting. Very interesting, to say the least. Is there really no way that I can, like, help at all? Whatsoever? Are there two fires in New York? Or in the city? No, there's only one, so what's the problem? How you doing, my man? Another a fellow ambulance driver, just in case anybody gets injured? Relax, dude, relax. There's no other fire, so I don't know where you're gonna go. Why you're so impatient. Just wait it out, my dude. Just wait it out, let the fire department do its thing. Speaking of let the fire department do its thing, I saw a house fire, why am I acting like this is new to me? The EMS literally just comes, sits around, and just waits in case somebody gets injured. That's, like, their whole job is to just sit around in case somebody gets injured. Look at that, bro. We got the fellow, the EMS shake, bro. The EMS shuffle. You gotta know how to do the EMS shuffle. Otherwise, you're not really an EMS worker, are you? Alright, let's open you up. Let's open up the side door. Open all this stuff up. They don't have all the doors open. Actually, let's just close this. Cause they're trying to keep they're trying to keep it as um as clean as possible and having just the doors open when there's a bunch of ashes because there would be a bunch of ashes just falling falling down from the uh apartments and in a fire like this ems is probably gonna have to at least check on people they may not have to transport people but they're at least gonna have to check on somebody you know because if this is a huge fire in a big apartment building you know, that's that's minimum. Minimum, they're going to have to check out. You're going to have to check a couple people out, make sure they're good. You know, some of them may be shaken up. Some of them may have trauma. Some of them may, you know... I know the police takes the statements, but, you know, some of them may have been injured on their way out. You know, maybe, like, they cut. They got a cut or something, and it's, you know... It's better to just have it treated now than get them get an infection, and then all this other stuff happens. And then you go to the doctor, and they're like... You know you could have gotten it treated by EMS or something. You know, you could have just gone to the ambulance worker and just had them, like, you know, clean it off. Put some antibacterial wipes and just, you know, just give you a bandage. Why is there no EMS calls? Why is it that when there's, there's two EMS workers, whenever I'm here by myself, I'm slammed with calls. Whenever I'm here with a partner, where's the calls at? Where's the calls? And they're still putting this fire out. To handle other fires. What do you mean other fires? What other fire? There's only one fire. I saw the fire started over there, but I don't even know where it is. Dude, I'm just trying to get a call. Is there no such thing as EMS calls out here? What happened to that being super busy? What, what, EMS used to be a super busy team where you were never able to have some downtime. Why am I having downtime? Dude, they are still... Wait, where are they going? Is it another... Hold up. Does this guy know he's still connected by hose? The hose should yank on those trucks so that in case they want to try and drive away with their hose still attached, it won't let them. Because they're really trying to go across the entire... Oh my goodness gracious. Dude, your ladder is too short. Clearly your ladder is way too short, dude. Oh, EMS call started. <gasps> Just as I thought. Open the back, open the back, open the back, open the back. Open the back, open the back, open the back. Here we go. This is why we waited. We waited, guys. We waited nine whole minutes so that there could be a patient. Bleeding. Stop the bleeding. I got you, my guy. I got you. We stopped the bleeding. Inspect the patient. Ready for transport, baby. Let's go. 
I said, let's go. Why am I not able to? There we go. I was about to say, why am I not able to click on this guy? There we go. We waited a whole 10 minutes so that we could transport somebody. And finally, it has come. Woo! Let's go. Off to the hospital we go. And, of course, another one spawns out of our jurisdiction. Let's follow the rules of the road. Where do the rules of the road tell us to go? They tell us to go way back here. And then where do we go next? Rules of the road, what do we do next? We have to go on that road, don't we? Yes, we sure do. So, let's go all the way over here. Avoid that whole fire area. Come on over here. Make that good old-fashioned right-hand turn. Boom. Then we make this good old-fashioned... Wait, what? I made a left, not a right. Right? I think so. Who knows? Let's go. Here we go. Oh, yep. Turn off the siren because there's people here that are, you know, trying to get treated and have to sleep here. There are people that have to sleep here. No matter what time of the day, in a hospital, somebody is always sleeping. Just know that. No matter what time and day it is, it could be the middle of the noon. It could be 12 o'clock. It could be 2 o'clock p.m. It could be 4 in the afternoon. It could be 8 a.m. There will always be somebody sleeping in a hospital. And it is best not to wake them because, you know, they probably had a bad day if they're at a hospital. Or just a bad, you know, they may be having a bad life right now because they're at a hospital. But anywho, finally, we finally got our first and only EMS call after 10 minutes. But if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more or even longer videos, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Make sure to subscribe. Eh? Did I say subscribe? Subscribe. Because I know some of you guys aren't. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Or maybe even later today with a bonus video all right bye guys